Hey guys, Baby Mitchie here. Today, we're gonna be doing a movie review. That's right, a movie from my childhood, in fact. What is it, you might ask? It's a Canadian film called The Peanut Butter Solution. Yeah, guess what? I beat you to this one, JonTron. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm talking to you, man. You know, I'm just kidding. I don't want to make fun of you, JonTron. I love you, man. May he rest in peace. Here we go. It no. Ah, yeah. Uh, 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 fine. It's whatever. It's clearly not right. Here we go. That's my sister, Susan Allison Baskin. The wretch. You see the blue robe she's wearing? Looks too big, eh? Well, it's Mum's, and she's gone away. She's wearing it because she knows it really, really bugs me. I told you, she said I could. But why? So we have this boy who lives with his sister and his dad, who's a struggling artist, who has this weird bird thing going on. Oh, Jacques would like this one. Within the first eight minutes, we're introduced to the senor, a teacher that's a real asshole. See, pig is not a dog. Start again. Who does this guy think he is, Squidward? Okay, since you're telling me you have no prior training, we'll have to start from square one. Or should I say, circle one. <laughs> that is rubbish. Hey, senor. Dr. again. What an asshole. So our main character, Michael, and his best friend decide to check out the spooky, scary house that just burnt down and people were burned alive inside. He gets scared right out of his wits and into a shopping cart. And when he wakes up the next day, BAM! No hair! Which is exactly what happened to me. Of course it was that damn cat's fault for sleeping on his head again, right? Always blame the cat. It's that damn cat. I'm gonna wring its neck. No, Dad, no, not the cat. It was on his head all night, wasn't it? So they head to the doctor to try to find out what happened. Right, for sure. Mm. The proper medical term is Helmskelm. So the doctor diagnoses Michael with Helmskelm. You know, I'm really starting to question this doctor. I, I don't think that's a real thing. Let me look it up. Nope. No helm skelm here. I want a second opinion. But need I remind you, blood is thicker than water. Blood? Thicker water. So later that night, Michael was woken from a sleep to find ghosts in his kitchen stealing their food. What? This just raises more questions. Ghosts need food? Anyways... The female ghost provides Michael with the solution. Don't. This, uh, this here is my last treasure. You can learn it, but you can't have it. All right, here we go. One really ripe banana. Come on, say it. One really ripe banana. One really ripe banana. Put it on my head. You have to say put it on my head after each thing. You ain't very bright, are you? One really ripe banana, put it on my head. Good. Five dead flies? Five dead flies, put it on my head. Oh, no, no, put them on my head. Don't you learn no grammar in school? Five dead flies, put them on my head. Last thing is a spoonful of peanut butter, and that's very important because it makes it all stick together. But don't use too much of it or watch out. What'll happen? Yeah. Well... It ain't for me to say. You just watch out, huh? That's right. The peanut butter solution. It turns out, we've been doing it wrong this whole time, guys. You don't need Rogaine. You don't need Minoxidil. All you need, all you need, is the peanut butter solution. You know, wait a second. Do you think it actually works? I mean, I could use it. Hmm. Nine spoons of soil, put it on my head. 
one really ripe banana, put it on my head. I hope this works. Five dead flies. Uh, five dead flies, put it on my head. Oh, excuse me, put, put them on my head. One rotten egg, put it on my head. Three licorice leaves, put it on my head. Get in there. A fistful of kitty litter. Nope. Three Connie crisps, put them on my head. A glass of Pepper's Fizz, put it on my head. A spoonful of peanut butter. Put it on my head. I hope this works! I'm supposed to put this on my head? Well, if it works. It's gonna work, trust me. I saw it on TV. So Michael goes through the whole process of creating this solution and putting it on his head. Wow, I'm gonna put this stuff on my head? I must be crazy. Oh no. I'll have hair on my face, on my hands. I gotta make it less runny. I just gotta put more peanut butter in. It's the only solution. Two, three, four, five spoons of peanut butter. That's enough. And goes to sleep for the night. And then, the next day. It's hair! Dad! Dad! Okay, what's the matter now? Dad, so glad you're here. Michael's got hair! So anyways, it... I don't know if I'm Bob Ross or Weird Al. Remember, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. Anyways, when Michael's best friend finds out about this amazing hair-growing peanut butter solution, he's like, Let me try it. Why? You don't need it. You got lots of hair. Sure, but... But what? Down there. Are you crazy? I can put that down my pants and grow pubes. I mean, what young adult isn't wanting to suddenly look older? Why would that? Why? I mean, it's funny, but but this is a kids' movie, right? I mean, they chose to do this. They put that in there. You know, some writer was like. And then the kid puts it under his, in, in his pants. Uh, yeah. They chose that. Of course, there's one fatal flaw. The hair doesn't stop growing. What? And we bring down the six. And we remember to move the decimal point. Now, for some reason that I don't understand, when this happens to his best friend and he wakes up in the middle of the night with the hair growing right in front of his eyes... He tries the thing that all of us would do when something doesn't work and doesn't go wrong and you need it to work right. Have you tried yelling at it? Stop! This begs the question, why couldn't the main character, Michael, do the same thing? But you know what? Whatever. He didn't. Instead, he tried to go about his life as usual and go to school 66. and all that with hair we that constantly grows. And yes. Six. Having to get his hair cut while he's in the classroom. One. And of course, this causes such a terrible distraction. Oh my god. Sir, for two weeks now I've been bald. We did everything to get my hair back. Nothing worked. 
At last, I tried this extremely dangerous mixture. It worked, but now my hair won't stop. My only chance is for this guy to keep on cutting. Please let me stay. I want to be educated. Quiet. Not just Harry. Quiet. Magical hair that uh, needs to be cut. Uh, I, I can't even concentrate over the snipping of the scissors. Uh, you're expelled from school. Seriously? I mean, that's what happens? I mean, we have magical hair here that's just growing nonstop, and everyone just ignores this. Like, like, I mean, it, you know, the 80s were a different time. If this would have happened today, all kinds of scientists would be down on that, like, like, flies on poop. Michael gets kidnapped. That's right, kidnapped by this senor. Of course, nobody knows that. How do we know he won't break this one? And that's 20 bucks down the drain. $20 is a small price to pay if it'll make him normal again. But this isn't his kind of brush. It's weird. It's flimsy. Can't you feel his hair? So? Hair. Bristles, hairs, what's the difference? I know this hair. I cut this hair. You don't? Are you certain? Strange paintbrushes. Yes, I felt this hair before. I've cut this hair. I've touched this hair. I've smelled this hair. <sighs> it's kind of creepy, sis. It's kind of creepy. The sister recognizes that the hair actually belongs to Michael. And they're like, well, who who sold you these paintbrushes? And he's all like, yeah, some guy, he just comes up and he sells me these paintbrushes. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Oh, wait, uh, let me see. But I asked him his name. He says, I don't have a name. So I says, what do I call you? He says, call me Senor. The Senor. So the pair decide to stake out the place and figure out just what's going on here. he wearing is it is that a coat is that a coat made from human hair I, doesn't that show what <laughs> doesn't that just put up some red flags right there uh, 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 i mean uh, in the town in which there's this child that is growing hair that doesn't stop growing there's just all of a sudden a guy selling paint brushes made out of a weird weird hair material and he's wearing a coat of human hair Alert the police! Tell the media! What's going on in this movie? You got me. You got me at the coat of the... <laughs> you got me at the coat of human hair. You, you, you got me. You got me, movie. You got me. You know what the funny thing is? When I was a kid watching this movie in the 80s, I didn't think twice about this. But now that I'm an adult and I'm looking back on this, that's a coat of human hair. That's some weird shit. So anyways, using a trail of sugar, they're able to infiltrate the Senor's hideout. And they find out that Michael is being kept a prisoner. And being fed a weird yogurt drug thing. Drug yogurt stuff. Which keeps him docile and sleepy. Of course, all of his hair is growing. And the kids, yes, that's right, kids, that's right. He kidnapped a whole crew of kids, and they're all forced to work assembly line-like to create paintbrushes out of Michael's hair. There's nothing creepy about that. But that's not the best part, guys. That's not the best part. I've been saving the best part for last. Yeah, these paintbrushes, made out of, you know, magical growing hair. Well, it turns out, they are magical paintbrushes. Yeah, that's right. Magical paintbrushes. When you paint a picture with these magical paintbrushes, it, it creates an actual place. A place. Magical. And you can walk right into the picture. Yeah. That. I mean, I didn't. This just, where, where did this come from? I mean, it just. This, this comes. Whoa! You can walk into the. What the? What, where did this come from? What? At what point was the movie drawing us to this conclusion of magical growing hair that won't stop growing to. 
can paint a picture and you can walk into it. Wait, and this just it. This just raises more questions. How do you sell paintbrushes that create magical pictures that you can walk into and then start selling them in the stores and people don't use them at home and go, holy crap, I'm able to make these things and I can walk into them. It's like magic. How does this not enter the newspaper? What? I give up. I give up. Belief. Boom! So how does this all end, right? I mean, at, at this point, it's gone. Just all oh, 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 helter skelter. We don't know what's going on. There's magical paintings, magical pear, magical paintbrushes. I mean, where are we going from here? How does this end? Okay. So, Michael's best friend tricks the senor into painting the scary house. The senor goes into the house, and guess what happens? He gets the hair scared right off his head, just like Michael. Oh yeah, what goes around comes around, man. That's what you get. That's what you get! Run, kids! Breaking Bad's coming for you and he wants to make a meth lab now! After finally making their escape, they all yuck it up and head home to live happily ever after. And everyone forgets that you can create magical paintings with paintbrushes made from human hair. Hmm. Magical hair. Places. Can go to. I'm going to Disney World! I'm supposed to put this on my head? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. I need to recover. Okay.